uh, but they become favorites overnight in this it's matchup. It's crazy, and you know what? I think if they can beat Heroic, they can beat NIP. Coming in a little bit cold, never mind. I was going to say colder into this series, given that they are the team that had the bye, and this would be their first playoff match, as Elise does respond and get a shot back. Speaking of cold, Rez got up to something a little bit hot during his time off between the group stages and playoffs. He was apparently boiling potatoes and spilled the hot water all over his feet and was on crutches for a period of time due to how badly he burned himself. So that's... Kind of shitty. You hate to see that. Potatoes. Yeah. You love to see Elige at the moment. Quad kill in the round for him with that P250. Making it work. Going to get tagged down very, very low. S tag. Finds OC. Elige looking for that ace, but he doesn't want to overcommit. Doesn't want to leave his teammate. He's got it. All five kills for Elige. What a great performance. Quick attack out mid. That was unreal. Elige has been so sharp over the last two series. He's starting off brilliantly here. Another ace. We did have an ace yesterday. Naf was able to get one for Team Liquid. There was an ace previously as well. If I'm not mistaken, Snap, he got one in the last match. So we're getting all kinds of them in the last few, I guess, what is that? Three successive series we've had on stream. I like what you did there, Jason. Pote toes, because he earned his feet. Toes. No, that was a Lord of the Rings reference. No, I know it was, but Pote toe. Uh, yeah, I, I would be Dad jokes. Yeah. We're back. Of course we're back. <laughs> I thought we got those all out of our system yesterday. No. I thought we were going to be able to move Only on with 33. the 33. I got lots of dadhood left in me. <laughs> got a dad bod. Elige. You're not wrong about that. Elige, yeah, already clearing out boxes, making sure no one's going to push through from the cave position. Naf already here as well with the MAC-10. And it's Nitro that will go. This was one of the maps they did win yesterday against Heroic, so Liquid's going to look pretty comfortable on it. Based off their CT sides, their CT sides yesterday were, uh, were incredible. If you didn't tune into that matchup against Heroic, Liquid went 21-4 and four on their defensive sides alone across two maps. It was absolutely spectacular stuff. Plopsky actually runs through the flames with the cover of that smoke, deals a little bit of damage. Now, one of the conversations, and uh, OC just gave a great interview uh, over on HLTV. If you guys haven't checked that one out, he, he he talked uh, at length specifically about Ancient, and obviously it's it's awesome seeing his performance this early in his career. Might not want to give away as much information in some of these interviews, but just mention specifically how they kind of struggled against teams that save their nades, that hold on to them, that like kind of really like to draw the rounds out on their T-sides that aren't giving fights at the initial side of the round. So we'll see if that continues to haunt them here. Obviously, they made some adjustments, and they worked on a little bit to be able to overcome those complications against Heroic. We'll see if they can do much the same against NIP. At least in this round, I don't think NIP is going to step forward behind the smoke at all to set up for any kind of a retake. They didn't get anything, so save the weapons. Try again in round number three. Round three, indeed. And good start again from Liquid holding on to this stability. Not a lot of cash farmed up, given that the M M MP10s, MAC-10s, uh, didn't find anyone, but a rare round and rare opportunity to have 10 players staying alive. Nitro's seemingly still going to try and find some kills. Might as well try and justify the purchase of the SMGs, get their value out of them. So Liquid up two already. NIP, I, I think the interesting story with Liquid as well. Sure, they won yesterday. Everyone looked solid, but OC has, has definitely turned the corner. Yep. And yeah, very, very solid. Seems to have like a really, really good head on his shoulders. Obviously, the interview he gave yesterday during the match as well, where he's just like, look, when, when the team is playing well, the individuals are equally going to be playing well. They're all going to, you know, if the team's playing well, everyone's individual level is going to rise also. Very, very true. And also in the interview saying that he wants to be, he wants to establish himself as a player that people don't like to go up against, that they fear to play in matches. And for more performances like he had yesterday, and he might start accomplishing that goal. Well, and the cool thing is, is NA's never really had that offer. We, we, we touched on it. Skadoodle had stints of it, but it wasn't consistent. It's almost like OC is what JDM could have been if he had have actually sat up properly in his chair. Yeah, that posture was everything, wasn't it? Yeah, Rez, big box to hold. These corner box, I should say, not big box, excuse me, to hold with the 5-7. Deadly, but spotted out as tucked in the corner. His left knee protrudes past the edge. Shocks and Nitro able to get kills inside of the site, and this one should be done, but stranger things have happened. So before I call it that way, let's just make sure that bomb gets planted, and it is secure. Donut, this is it. Boozy could find the angle back into it, but not going to happen. Nitro getting that kill should pretty much confirm the round. Yeah, and as this round kind of fades away, we can talk about the other side of things. NIP, uh, obviously the desk kind of highlighted the different lineups and different subs and different situations with players in and out, obviously. Uh, 
Berlin coming in, Device still on the roster as well. A lot of confusion of, you know, what they've been preparing for. I will say that that's going to be disorganized and that's going to be kind of a, a little bit of a cloud over NIP, but uh, the players uh, as you prepare for matches and as you practice in day-to-day -day life. Um, but that being said, there is kind of in a certain degree, if you talk to players, not much more dangerous than a lineup at an event that everyone knows is not going to be together after the event. Yeah, that whole backs against the wall, that whole cornered animal type thing comes out. Yeah. When you stop trying to really force the improvements and just play your game because you know the lineup is going to change, sometimes things just click. Yeah, it's interesting that, I mean, I get why Brolin is here. Obviously, they want to you know, acclimate him to team practicing and, and, and sort of functions and, and become... You know, friends with everyone, the camaraderie to develop. But yeah, he's been here, but not playing, obviously. He's been sitting and watching. I told him he better have an excellent matchup today. Well, I'm sure if you hadn't asked him that and said that, he probably, you know, wouldn't have. <laughs> deep, deep angle with the... <laughs> I mean, I was just walking down the hall. I said, Roland, I'm expecting big things out of you today. Yeah. That was the joke, Jason. I know. All right. Thanks for, you know, really over-explaining. <laughs> me in the corner, speaking of caged animals. Hampus window smoked off. Has a nade for the corner at the ready. He's going to lob that down there now, but no one actually trying to take middle right now from the Team Liquid side of things. Instead, they're just going to fan out across the map. In fact, across A, having lost Nitro early, there's really no one holding that B-ramp position. Very passive as well, though, from NIP. They've got a very nice setup in terms of a rotation and a support system where Plopski can play both toward the B site with S-Tag already in Cubby and Fuzi that's holding out the cave, but it's over at eight that they have to worry about because already they've lost Rez. That was their donut player. Hampus rotated early. He gets inside of Ruins, but Flash smoked and falls off of it. Silenced. He did fire two shots, but I don't think they'll have heard that. Those ones they certainly will have heard. They'll have felt because he gets a lead down as well. Plopski into OC, and even though Shox is able to get one back, Bomb gets planted. It's still going to be a tough ask for Liquid Nath. They're going to get together. Lost a little bit of HP, but did significant damage onto S tag now. Holding together. Oh, that flash. Luckily, they're both able to face the wall. They won't have lost their vision the whole time, but he expects them to be there. Does not expect to. Surely not as Naf comes back out, but 40 HP. Has to cover off for two more players. That nade could catch out S-Tag. He just barely gets behind the box. Jumping for information. He'll see one. Knows the other is swung, and Naf tries to get to the pistol. Okay. Not enough time to get the kill or the ki defuse, so he's got to run it away, and Naf does just enough. Oh, man. The double setup in that little alcove was absolutely perfect. You're right. He does just enough, even without the kill, to keep him off the bomb as long as humanly possible. What a tough round for, or excuse me, for Team Liquid to come out on top of. Four to nothing on this T side pretty quickly. Good entrance provided by Elige. That was Resin Donut who gets taken down. And from here, Shox and Naf playing it so, so well. One of the cool things about this, this partnership, or, or not partnership, but these two players being the same team, obviously, um, Naf has been pretty vocal about Shox being a player that he's always looked up to and admired. Uh, one of the things that I, that I got out of him, just speaking to him uh, around the hotel the other day, Naf's like, our roles don't really clash, but we kind of have the same philosophy on how we want to play certain scenarios he said there's like a natural chemistry because they both like to be a little bit more of the passive a little bit more of the slow style get to pick your battles you want to be in position to be alive for the clutches so those two guys together um obviously going to just be just be naturally uh, there's going to be some cohesion I, I think in the clutches yeah the interesting for me is that naf has just been such a solid anchor on the ct side like overlooked i remember on cash Man, if he was on my team, back. I'd, dude, well, I, I, but he, if I was on my team, I'd be like, yeah, you just play A alone. We'll go we'll go do the rest of the map. Like, he was so good at picking his battles. He's one of the most natural, like, uh, players to put in a, in a supportive position between bomb sites. You think overpass kind of rotating between B and A. He, he just, it just clicks. He knows what he's doing when he comes into every single situation, and he just games off his intuition. Fuzzy. The other thing is we've got Fang now as a Canadian, Jason. So I'm starting. You said we didn't even have five players. I'm thinking I need one more. Okay. And then me, and you can get four. And we'll have a little show match, maybe. Dude, we would delete you. No, he, come on. Twists? Naf? Who are they? Yeah, all right. Well, slow down for Team Liquid. They've got shocks pushed up in position. How many Americans have won Katowice? 
Yeah, one to nothing. Congrats. <laughs> all I need. Oh, well, there goes OC in middle. Shocks. Oh, this is brutal. Biding his time. If he can get one more down low, it's low HP. Transfers downward. Can't find it. Can't find either of them. And this hit's just going to slip away. The one saved AWP does its job. A singular kill on the op so far. I think you just stick this. Just get the money yep. out of it. He's got smokes off. Oh, he's... Yeah, okay. All right, fair enough. He heard something, obviously. Lurking toward him within the shadows, and Plopsky getting the kill through the smoke. Couldn't quite hold that plant. Not a lot of coverage. Smokes were obviously going to be pushed behind him. That's why he tried to cover himself from Connector instead. Knew that there was two in that position, but ninjas in pajamas, the ninjas, uh, will get on the board. Out op two AKs and two tech nines for Team Liquid. Four players heading over towards the B bomb site. Elige going to be a passive lurk at the moment behind the smoke in towards middle. OC with the op steps forward between the flames, looking for the highway peak. Off angle for him. Plopsky hasn't given him the look just yet. He's going to come in late. OC. Oh, he turns away at the wrong moment, and everyone else is stuck behind the smoke. He's the only one that made it. They got split. I remember questioning that smoke early on. They will get through it now. They'll stampede through it. Surprisingly, Plopsky overextended in that situation. He could have easily fallen off, you'd think, having found that opening kill. I remember questioning that smoke early on, thinking, well, that's the timing of that doesn't work, but that's why it's so powerful. If you can get the second player in position to peek on it and then isolate the others... So Nitro on 8 HP is the significant difference in the 4 on 4, as he's a lot weaker than everybody else. He'll back off and holds outside of the gate. Meanwhile, Mav clearing cave already. A lot of tension on OC yesterday, rightfully so. Let's not forget, Nitro had an excellent game on cash. Tons of impact as they swept heroic 2 to nothing in that series. Molotov out is going to keep shocks at bay. Angle up into the bomb site. The flames don't spread enough to force him off. It tough, tough vision. Did he not see us? I thought Fuzi's head actually showed for a second there. Maybe not. Either way, smoke down. He's not going to have any vision now. Fires in. Just goes by the shins. Twenty seconds of Elige. Twenty seconds indeed. Shocks waiting on that smoke for it to dissipate his nap Whoa. immediately for the plant, and that's the lineup we're talking about. Man, Shocks almost inadvertently body block that. The shot somehow missed both, and Shocks gets only good for one. But here's that's a tag. Elige nearly lined up them both. I thought that was a double for sure. Instead, it all comes back to Nitro. He's got the AWP. Eight HP. Hear the communication between NIP. Now they know where the AWP is. Jumping across, Rez has made it on Nate as well. They know he's low. It's going to absolutely nail him just barely. If he was a little bit to the right, may have gotten away with it, but a defuse and two in a row for NIP. Yeah, no great options for Nitro there. You got to step forward to avoid the nade damage, but if you go too far, you're well exposed and not ready for a fight. Second round for the Ninjas. A couple chances there. I love this flash of the smoke. It was just timed perfectly as Fuzi took a shot, so he was reloading, blinded up as well. Almost a double from Elige coming through this smoke, so Team Liquid getting aggressive through smokes on both sides. And almost wiping out the defense before the retake can begin. Almost not enough, though. Double up set up for NIP's CT side now. And upgraded pistols for Team Liquid. One AK-47 on NAF. Money a problem for NIP. Half already just straight contact. Give him the AK and let him play Gladiator. Inside of the site, nearly overlooks his position, but he'll take Plopsky down. Now they know the AK is in position 41. He's going to take it beyond enemy lines, chasing down territory. And that's a tough one to take because he knows that then he's in a 180 peak. So backs off with a deep smoke from his teammates. Flash comes back at him, and he'll just barely get caught. The massive gap in that deep smoke. They try and address it too little too late. Fuzi gets a double. Elige, the next to try and do something of this round by planting the bomb. Nitro can't get a kill, having picked up his teammates. AK, and a nice shot, Rez. Well done from NIP. I admire the effort from Liquid to get that aggressive, but unfortunately, that smoke just gave way too much of an opportunity. Yeah, I, I'm wondering if that's a, if that was a missed smoke. I didn't catch on the minimap, or if it was just kind of an improvised smoke that you never know if there's going to be some kind of a gap. Because Elite, or I mean, excuse me, Naf is obviously playing. He's he's freewheeling it there. They're just like, create some space. Go find some kills. I think, I think it's the latter. I yep. don't think you have a set that goes that far back. You normally have a set that goes to the front of the lane. And with Naf there, he's like, hey, smoke DCT sides that Liquid were incredible on uh, for the most part. They did at one point have a 6 6 scoreline with. I think it was even 6-4, if I'm not mistaken, uh, against Heroic. And then they called the timeout, got back into it, and took 9-6. So they were able to get six rounds yesterday, T-side, and still yep. went out the game. So keep that in mind. 
OC tagged down to 58, Shocks 49, but OC gets the kill on Plopsky. Illige, that was not quite the headshot one tap I thought it was. There was a bit of damage already there, but still manages to get S tag. Now, you got to be careful if you're Team Liquid. Even with a 5-on-3 Hampus, trying to get back in time, he knows he's going to have one more fight. That's almost won by Hampus. But now you have the two ops you're going up against. Liquid have to be really, really cautious how they start to put this into play. If you stay too spread out and too slow, there's the first. The f oh, almost able to manage it. That would have been great. I was going to say, you can start getting picked off and whittled down before you're even able to kind of group up and attack a bomb site. So Liquid trying to figure out the position of Rez at the moment. Nitro controls the B-bomb site. Naf and Shock still slow paying it back towards T-spawn. Naf going to be watching mid, making sure nobody can flank through. Jaguar. I give credit to Fuzzy on that one as well because they have double op set up passive and a f down a man. He get, tries to get aggressive nearly, well, down two actually, as it were, nearly makes that pay off. Nearly gets a double and completely changes this round as now it's just res remaining and this one should be done. I think Jason, bomb slowly working its way toward the B site. They're taking their time. Yeah, they're being really cognizant and clearing out all the angles, making sure nobody's going to get caught. Res is just chilling in donut. So, Liquid maintain the lead two rounds now as it goes up to 5-3. Good job from Elise over in towards middle. All the playmakers like playing in mid on the T side. Think config. That's the only example that's coming to my brain right now. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all based off that. Yeah, so config all, the, and all of these players, I got one example. <laughs> <laughs> so five to three, Liquid will not allow this to get tied up. You look at Rez. Come up with something a little bit different. Elige. We saw yesterday how much he was smiling and enjoying himself in that situation where they were taking down Heroic. And you said it. When he's smiling, that's when he's the most deadly. It's also when he's the most lovable. How many of that green screen Elige Big pearly smile? Whites. Yeah, have you seen? I think he was one of the players most... Uh impacted by kind of the upheaval they were going through last year and the year before as well. This is tricky. This is very tricky, because you know you've thrown a nade into the hallway, which means you've got to be at least outside of the stairs, and he's pushed up on the opposite side of the ring. Does Shocks consider this? Does he check it? And you can already see a bit of a rotation back over to support it. Smoke's going to give it away. I think Rez gets this kill easy, as long as his teammate doesn't tag him up inside of it. Oh, no, the timing of everything is crazy. Yeah. Okay, Rez is going to find it, yeah. His teammate just taking a shot, so Shocks is looking in that direction, taking the attention. Two entries from Nitro. S-Tag and Plopsky couldn't get together. Smoke is going to be out, but Food He's got another one. That's a third kill. And that quick shot down the lane that we've seen the past few rounds from him with that op. Three on three in the post plant. Elige has a real late backstab. I don't think they'll consider it. I don't even think they're going to look in this direction. If this retake takes too long, Elige is going to be really, really in a great position. OC with one. That should slow things down. That gives time for Elige to slow crawl through this smoke and get activated. Fuzi not looking behind. Elige timing the smoke, and that should be an easy frag in the back. And Rez, you know where one is. All you really can do here is stick the bomb. Taps it. No one's going to peek. They do now. I think you're right. Maybe you're just trying to hold that. They would have been on it. There wasn't much of a chance for Rez in that situation, regardless of sticking it or not. So six to three, Liquid now doubling back up in the score. And it's going to leave NIP in a position where they have to pretty much full save on this. They could buy pistols. That's about it. If they want any chance back in in the next rounds. At least looking pretty solid. You mentioned it. He was good yesterday. And obviously a lot of the talk was on OC. But man, oh man, he's delivering today he's also playing this mid position this pre-fire angle and he had it figured out last time as well put a molotov down they doubled the smoke and he pre-fired two shots into it you may have noticed and that was exactly when they tried to take that mid cubby position so he's got a read as to what the utility might indicate that time had vision but couldn't make it work as hampus just deleted oc yikes can he get one more that'd be a lovely find Three-round lead. 
Naf, he's gonna get double peaked. He's able to spray down two. Brings the round back, level at three. People alive on either side. Fuzi trying to get up the top of Tetris, but a smoke, or rather, excuse me, Molotov in that position is gonna make it difficult. But it's only seven seconds that those Molotovs exist, and that's when they have to charge the site itself. Nitro finding one in. Now, now Fuzi can go, yeah. Makes it known that he can go. Takes Naf completely out of it with a good shot over top of the box. And they're gonna work together. They can go for a... They can go for the other bomb site, Matt. Okay. They know yeah. where both of them are. They just decided to pull the plug. A boost <laughs> and see the information, but they're already gone. That was a good read. Yeah. Yep. This is that shot with the Deagle. Third time's the charm. Oh. Retake not happening at all. NIP. They get outmaneuvered across the map, but not the worst outcome. AK-47 saved into the next round. Op saved into the next round as well. Got to be pleased with that. You're not pleased, however, that you're down four on the CT side of Ancient. It's going to be three to seven when all is said and done. Liquid doing a much better job in this game so far. I mentioned the interview that OC gave saying sometimes they feel uncomfortable on the T side of Ancient playing against teams that don't get the get, give them the... Round of seven remaining after the last map, excuse me, is Mo Movistar is now out as well, but uh, they're still here and still playing. You've got lots of time to get practice in. I would have liked to see Movistar do some things, but nice, uh, nice win for Mens there. Rez gets the opening kill with the AWP. Smoke is blocked, but still going to be effective. Molotov's in spam coming through the smoke to Fuzi's position. He's got to take some fire damage as he bails out. That's a uh, aggressive plant position from Shoxy. He's going to reconsider his life choices and find a bit more safety. Yeah, he is. Unfortunately, he's not that safe going toward the CT connector. Fuzi finds him on the AWP, and it's the advantage by one on the retake to Nip, who are thinking very seriously about going for this. Nitro's gonna bypass middle. Shots toward Donut. Now that should signal that he's gonna be on the flank, but they aren't looking that direction yet. Elise needs to buy space, and Nitro, now he's too far removed, or is he? Do they suspect his presence? Do they know where he's gone? He's gotta get closer. No, he can see the bomb. He can see the backside. He's got just enough. But a kit and play. Fuzi will get the round, and it'll be seven to four. Cool way for Nitro to work around that plant spot, a little bit different, wrapping through CT spawn from middle when he's got spotted on that flank and almost able to pull off the clutch. OC able to grab that one, but later on on the re-entrance into the bombsite and that retake begins, he missed a bit of a sitter that we saw him nailing yesterday. It's okay. NIP down to just one player surviving. Seven to four. Three round lead, but Liquid in a position to reset NIP's economy right here in the later stages of this half. Heavy play towards the A-bomb site. It's Rez pushed up. Little bit of an early warning system, but he's got to be impactful. He's at least got the first. He's going to stand tall. He's going to challenge again. One more for him, and half HP left on Naf. That'll slow things down. Fuzi's here for the rotation with that all, but Naf and Osi, they realize they can't go. Now it's Elige who needs to open up plan B. Illy Giggle Elige going to try and work his way up toward middle. Plopski's already rotating back to just make sure that that window room is covered off, though. Hampus down the hallway toward Donut Elige to make contact. Any second has to clear off his off angles, though. That makes it difficult. He's his gun barrel shows. Okay. The aim lab technician is in. Oh, good shot from Fuzi as Naf slides out. One more available to him. Elige slides into it as well. And Fuzi going for a triple down the stretch. He's got it. Fifth round on the board for an IP. Fine opping in this game so far from Fuzi on the CT side. Not bad at all. Yeah, looking very, very solid. That'll make it now a two-round game. We get a little, little bit closer to redemption for NIP, making this, as you say, already giving up, you know, those seven rounds on the CT side, giving them something to look more forward to. Interestingly enough, yesterday, Heroic didn't get a single round on the T side of this particular map. Yeah. In fact, it was a large stretch because they hardly got any on in Vertigo for a while as well. Yeah, painful day for their offense, or I mean, look at it from the other direction, great day for Liquid's defense. I think they would uh, be the first to tell you that they are confident in their CT sides, although I even think even they were probably surprised a little bit by how effective it was against Heroic. Oh, Legion trouble. Oh, excuse me, the nade. Hampus chooses to throw it far. Elige was aggressively tucked into the corner. Another kill from the AWP. He 
Nath is staying put with the bomb, allowing his teammates a chance to search with these deagles, see if they can find a kill, see if they can cause a rotation and give them an idea of where it's safe to go. Rez tagged up, but headshot angle, he'll be confident in fighting back. I think this round has just slipped away from Liquid, obviously. Nitro can't complete the kill. It should be a sixth for the ninjas, or it will be a sixth from the ninjas. And Fuzi starts that off, or confirms that, I should say, finishes that off. So we'll see what brings the next round for Liquid in terms of money. They've already got AKs out. They won't have an AWP, so they're going to be light on the sniper for OC, but they'll certainly have the firepower to still make a play of it. Have a go. Still with the highest ADR in the server at this point in time. Utility damage, by the way, NAF is 199 already. 108 for Shocks. Liquid was very impressive yesterday. We noted it on the CT side of Vertigo, but there you go for utility. How about that? What's impressive about it is sometimes it's tough to get decent side. utility damage on your T side as well, so fair play. NAF and OC. Way deep outside of B. Elijah's going to go down a little gap in that smoke that he was toying with. Hampus is able to find it. Five on three for the defense. They have full map control. Liquid haven't been able to get access to anything. Shox is still waiting at the bottom side of middle, but there's going to be no peeking in that position. They're covered at boxes. OC. Let's be the first out from the gate. Fuzi somehow spots the flash coming through. It was called out by his teammate, likely on the ramp. And S Tag is that man. He'll fire up against OC. He may have lost a teammate, but uh, it's just the battle, not the war, because this round is still going their direction. Fuzi on the pistol, catches out shocks, and it's all on an F. 7 7. They finally tie the game. It took them a while. We thought we were going to get there at 4 4. Would be cool if they could snatch away the lead in the final round. They might have a great chance. There's not a whole lot of money on the Team Liquid side. Naf trying to take away what he can, but money doesn't so much matter for NIP. They've got plenty of cash. Oh, I was going to say, if he finds Hampus, there's a big flank. There was a weird chance he could have ran away from that. Perhaps. A lot of bodies being sent his way, though, right? Adren looking calm and collected. Going into the final round of the first half. This is the opening nade kill. A lot of HP chunked down already. Ooh. Look at that. Beautiful spiral. Not as many smiles at this point. Four Mac 10s. We've got a B rush. We've got a B rush right here, right now. S tag is going to get dropped. Naf just never stop moving. Fuzi as well. Oh, that's a great shot. If he misses that, Shox is taking him down, no problem. Oh, this is awkward. That's awkward. Elysia knows he was stopped. Turns around with the M4, is able to grab one. Jumping through the smoke, he finds another. Elysia's gaming, and Plopsky can't handle it. Can't. Hampus has other ideas, though. He'll get OC, so Elysia needing to do potentially more again. That bomb continues to tick. Nitro's got to rotate back around. He's going to play the back ramp, bottom side. Smoked off Elysia. Now the spray becomes viable, should they even get that far. Oh, 12 seconds before that smoke is a huge problem. He's already lined it up. He knows exactly what he's going to have to do, and Nitro just needs to stay alive in it. Smoke in his position as well. They'll tap it out. They're both spraying. They're both spraying, but they're both missing. This is a problem. Nitro's got to go through. It's not going to happen. Rez with the kill. that on the attacking side. Well, now we get to see if Team Liquid's defense yesterday was just a bit of an aberration, if that was going to be the exception, or if that's going to be something they can establish, that dominance that they had, if they can continue it here. Plopsky with the opening kill. That's OC to fall. The rest of the aggression from Team Liquid can't find success until just now. Shocks and Nav fighting down lane. Hampus stuck in a long, grinding battle. Three on three. Nav misses an opportunity. B bomb site under contention, but there's plenty of defenders here to hold it off. Alige goes down. Nitro's up next, trying to just finish off Fuzi, but he can't connect the shot. Now Naf is involved coming out of cave, and that's the bomb hitting the ground. Bomb hitting the ground. And slowing progress, but still a two on two to work with. Fuzi trying to make the most of it, given that he's only got 13 HP. He'll be spotting back from the bottom of the ramp while Plopsky gets a little bit more aggressive Ooh. and off the angle as well. Nitro didn't know that he'd crossed over already behind that smoke. He hits a sitter at that range. Plopsky, though, is tagged to nine. Naf. 
to try and find both. USP in hand, but Palm recovered as well. That's the bigger win out of this situation. Oh, what a tough decision for Nav. Flip a coin. Do you try and jump the rotate over to the A-bomb site, or do you stick around and hope they come back? He's obviously made the wrong call. Gonna stick over at the B-bomb site. Bomb being planted here. These are the kills earlier. This is that battle towards lane. Shocks with a couple nice kills. Naf was here on defense as well, but now he's scrambling to get back in this one on two. There's no kit, but each of these players is about one bullet away from death. So he can still manage this, but there's no slowing down. He's gonna have to take some calculated risks. Moving into the bomb site. Tap the bomb, see if you can force anyone out into the open. There's the first, just one quick tap. Oh, and fuzi has gone all the way around through CT spawn, biding his time and waiting. Naf. Gonna hit the defuse again, but there's no time for the defuse. Fuzi's moving in. Even if Naf gets this kill, the round is over. NIP have won a tough pistol round here to start the second half. Well struck. Everyone's gonna die, including Naf, as the bomb takes him down after the time. But that single kill in the two on two and the recovery of the bomb made it all too impossible and too far out of reach. Impressive stuff from NIP just in this match overall. Liquid was a, a force to be reckoned with in that first half. Looked like they were going to be able to extend that lead quite a bit. NIP is able to do just enough to cool them off. Steal a one-round advantage right at the end of the half. M4 on a liege. SMG on shocks, MP9. Two deagles and a CZ for Team Liquid's defense here. Shocks and Naf aggressive in towards Jaguar. There's the swing. Will they expect a second player? Naf's gonna be able to get a lot of information. Rez checks it anyway. Smart play. Naf with nothing at all out of it. Elige has to fade off two. Two from Donut at a double position. Nitra falling off the angle. He gets it on his own with the CZ 75. Takes damage for it, as has Elige. So a very good chance that NIP can still hold out this position as Stag. Takes down the first one. Second one followed up, though, as Nitro grabs the weapon his teammate formerly had. And that bomb, did he not... Either he's not comfortable with mid, or they didn't realize on radar that he actually could see it. No, he doesn't want to stick around. He knows he's got low HP. He knows Rez is going to be really... He's going to be on his guard. He's going to be on point and focus and clearing out everything as he picks up this bomb. And Nitro knows with that kind of low HP, you cannot get into a heads-up duel. You have to play the timing game. You have to play the, 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 the game that Rez isn't going to expect. You have to find a new position to attack it. Now, unfortunately, Nitro is also taking perhaps the longest route to get over towards the B bomb site. So there's plenty of time for Rez, although equally... He has no idea where Nitro's gone, so he's got to be cautious as well. And Nitro's counting on that to allow him to close the gap. Nitro knows he's near. Smoke on it. Tap, but low HP, as you mentioned, he can't hold this. He can't justify the spray coming into the smoke. Was hoping Rez would fire into it, but that would give him a chance. He's forced him far enough back, though. There's no time. He doesn't have the kit. He's got to get off of it. And even then, Rez was prepared. He went to spray through the wood instead. It's going to be an IP now, 10-7. Great round from Team Liquid to get four kills. Double kill from Elise makes that round doable. Tough one versus one for Nitro to find any advantage. And it's going to hold on to it. Has the armor to go with it from the last round, obviously. And a deep smoke. Plopsky evidently doesn't care. He's going to go through it. Molotov's off the ramp so that there's no chance they could push down and lock them behind it. So subtle counterplay that has significant value. Flash for Naf. Peak for Nitro. Did he re hit Rez? <laughs> I think he did. That's the crazy I heard it. Thing. I heard a body hit it. So did I. That's what I was like, man, that's a USP. But I think he's not shooting to get damage. He's shooting strictly for that sound cue. So Nitro may get an idea if there's someone there or not. No, I just found it funny there's only one point of damage taken away. <laughs> yeah, no, it's ridiculous, right? I, I, was, I, I thought I heard it too. And I was like, watch, this will be one of those things I call out and I'm crazy. But yeah, I think we, you're absolutely right. I think you might be right as well. I think the sound cue would have been everything if he was able to grab that. 11 to 7, four round lead. Into the first gun round we go. Fuzi's got that MAC 10. Still a Galil in play on S tag. Op is going to be brought out immediately by OC.
And Team Liquid gonna get stuck in with the rifles. One single kit on Elige. Lots of fire in mid. Rez. Waiting patiently. Shonks is gonna burrow his. Oh, no, he's not. He's gonna go. No, just. Right eye versus left eye. Let's go. Molotov throwing. He knows they're gonna have utility out. Shocks good for one. At least manages to get Hampus Rez with the trade, but at least it's thinning out the offense and giving Liquid a chance to try and take some map away. Well, certainly with the man advantage, you can back off. OC's got that op trained towards middle, towards the jump up for lane. Elise waiting 20 kills. For Elige, as Aztag rotates back towards the B bomb site, Naf towards Cave. Elige deep and passive in the back corner. Plenty of utility for this NIP hit. Two Molotovs, or excuse me, two smokes and a Molotov. Four flashbangs as well. They're going to start it out with contact, which is going to make him susceptible to this position from Elise if he chooses to peek. The timing of it is everything. That's a tough player to walk into his crosshair, but Rez has got it. Great headshot onto Elise. Lovely stuff, Naf. Moving back to a position where he can line up the spam, not able to succeed in hitting it. Estag just back off the pillar ever so slightly. There is certainly that change of play you can make. There is some distance there, so long as you have the extremities covered off. That kit's dropped in the back corner, remember, Matt? It was on a leash. Good point. Nitro, meanwhile, still trying to find a way back in as Naf has vision and an opening, but they're covering off back lane so well that Nitro's not yet pushed through. There's no chance they're going to peek toward the cave. They're running out of time on the liquid side. They need to go very soon, and soon they go. They get two. Rez, though, is in a lovely position, but OC's clearing it, and Liquid back to winning ways. We'll find number eight. Nicely done. Almost a huge trap set up. OC watching the deep angle covers his teammates perfectly. That's an all-important first kill for him to get if he misses that. First player swinging right here. S, or excuse me, Fuzi was going to mow at least one of them down. And then a good find onto Rez, who was trying to time when he's watching his back and when he's looking forward. He just never heard the footsteps properly. NIP had a good, good hold on that bomb site in the post plant. Liquid still able to win the retake. Both teams buying back up into things. NIP have plenty of cash, especially if they're going to get another plant in this round. They'll be buying again. Deep Molotovs from both teams. Four Molotovs used towards B this time instead of middle, which means Hampus and Estag have confidence to just walk right through the smoke in mid. Rez has that opening kill. Elise is blinded, but still finds the headshot and backs away with 66 HP remaining. OC, staring down middle, just barely missing out on an opportunity for a crouch player who snuck by. Esteg is inside a donut, so Nitro's going to need to be aware of this. As Esteg gets a clean lineup toward the ruined position. Elise clearing down toward the gate, and Naf with no one inside of sight. Liquid's already going to try and collapse over toward this A side of the map, however. Fuzzy's going to bring the bomb in. Still no smoke toward Ruins. It's a battle. A heads-up duel. Nitro's got a win, and he does that, but Bomb still gets planted because he's preoccupied. He's able to follow and find Fuzzy. Rez now with it all to do in a one-on-four. Is immediately going to find one, but get traded out by Naf. Nitro's supposed to be the guy still trying to kind of get back up to speed. He had some bangers in this round. The two-tap on the initial kill, I believe that was Hampus, who was the first one to peek into it towards Donut. And two more kills spraying them down as they enter into the bomb site. Absolute filth from Nitro in the round. Even with Rez getting the entry, can't win it off. There's S tag to fall and one more that he'd find right at the end. So two rounds straight for Team Liquid. Once the guns come out. And two rounds separating the teams as well. Another plant, though, and it's going to be four rifles and a Tech-9 for NIP's attack. All five players towards the B bomb site. Elise and Nitro in towards middle. All top goes down. They're going to bypass it all, putting out the smoke. That tells them exactly what's coming. And OC is prepared. Double kill. One of them blind. And that puts a stop to everything for NIP. Nice tag. Tech-9, but he knows there's AKs ahead. We'll run up and grab one. 
As OC gets into position, he's a little bit late to capitalize on the fact that they were inside of the lane. Naf will close down on them, though, and sneak in behind. So this should still take away quite a bit of information as Shox already has the front side of the cave. Holding patiently and needs to be perfectly ready for the AK to come around the corner. Can't quite see the shoulder or elbow yet. Just a marginal gap to fire at, but it locks him into the corner. And Estag wisely knows he's going to re-peek on that, so it's only one kill back, but here's Nav in behind. Damage done. Doesn't need to worry about the kill at this point in time. 53 seconds, they've got information based on that. <laughs> Just lock him in. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, that sucks. He obviously doesn't know both are there as he smokes the double doors. But he is basically just keeping, from his mind, at least one player stuck. Plopsky with the AK-47 falls back to perhaps clear Naf's position. Long range with the AK-47, and he's got him. Naf slides hmm. back into it, 25 seconds. Low percentage chance to win this if you're an IP, but still a chance. Absolutely still a chance. OC as well up close, AWP is gonna fade back through the smoke to not give himself up either. Bomb plant goes down, and this is a real argument to be made that they could still win out this round. Good find from Elise then to at least get one more kill on the board, but Plopsky's gonna put the bomb into position, and OC can't commit too early with the AWP all by himself. He's gotta wait for the rotation, which is going to arrive, and it's gonna arrive from the cave. I'm not sure Plopsky will be ready to check that position. Although the more time that goes on, the more likeliness there is that he does look that direction, not fast enough. Nitro's got it, and they pull it back. Close effort, I'll give NIP a good try on that one. Type NT in chat. I feel like Plopsky's best chance to actually win that round, not his only one, but his best chance to win that round was to take a big, big risk somewhere after that plant goes down. Try and fade into the smoke. Maybe you push the smoke towards the backside. Maybe you push the smoke back in towards cave and check your flank. But, I mean, obviously, tough scenario. Just being boxed into that pillar after the bomb goes down. Good job from OC handling the rush well. And Liquid have hit double digits as well. 11 to 10, still favoring the Swedish side. Mostly Swedish side. Yeah, not entirely Swedish anymore. But then again, what is these days? Chalks again inside of Jaguar. Yep, that'll do. Poor Plopsky. that there's some spammable positions on this map. I, I remember when CSGO first came out, that was one of the biggest gripes from classic players as a liege. Doesn't need to wall bang anything. He just needs the smoke to get out of his way and he'll find two kills. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the classic Counter-Strike players saying that, you know, wall bangs were missing, spamming was missing. Yeah, I felt that way as well. It's, there was an adjustment period. I think they've found a, a very, obviously over the years, a very comfortable, happy place for, for spams with certain positions, but not as widespread as it used to be, obviously. Naf and Shox inside the site. Naf's gonna find the kill on Therese. This round being handled very well by Liquid. No one's gone down just yet. Elige, extremely passive with only three HP. No reason for him to lose an M4 in a round like this. There's no value for him to taking any fights. Shox is gonna fall anyways. That's dangerous to go down. Not bad right at the end for us attack. 11-11. Make a wish. Touch something red when you do it, though, apparently, I'm told. Um, used to be a pretty common scoreline, 11-11. Don't see it as much these days as things have ch changed considerably in maps and balance, but definitely one of the scorelines that always guaranteed a good finish to the game. So we'll see if that's the case or if Liquid's going to continue to take this momentum back in their direction. They've certainly got the weapons in their hands and in their favor with some residual cash, whereas Liquid this time fully invested, or excuse me, NIP this time fully invested, but nothing left over. It's four in a row, but I, Liquid's having to do it the hard way. They've had some tough retakes that they've they've succeeded with, obviously, but three of those four rounds they've won have been plants for NIP. So if you're the ninjas, at least you're saying, okay, our T side's T side's working to an extent. We're getting into sites. We're getting into post plant positions. They haven't all been great, but if you go back to even the Pistron where they get into the bomb site and a plant as well, they've done a good job of breaking in. Now we see an attack towards middle. Double window take. Naf's gonna play a very far angle on that. Sees it. Now they just have to play containment. That's not really the best attempt at it. Elige, unfortunately, spammed out through the box crack as Estag gets the shot into him. Naf gets the punishment in return, but Hampus, the second man, had never revealed himself. And surprise, surprise, comes out to get a kill. Ooh, OC. 
Right idea. Right idea. Lock them inside. Middle Shocks is going to chase them down. A liquid attempting some decent place here considering the map control and rotations but unfortunately not getting the damage done oc left on 13 and there was no real damage at all from shocks but as he rotates back he essentially gets two because he gets foozy and popsky although getting him gets killed by his teammate and hampus it leaves them in an advantage for team liquid and that means hampus is gonna go hunting oc gone spree through and nitro <laughs> holds his nerve oh close call what a big win from nitro oc never expect that swing i don't think anyone really did nitro wasn't really prepared for it either it might actually be a good thing Get out towards middle. Hamp is going to lead the way with his deagle. Flashbang has forced OC back to disappear into the smoke. Five straight for the CT side. Elise with the big box position this time. Boost up has tag. That'll let him see ruins. Oh, they wanted to walk that boost up, I think, to let him get right up under the ledge and see over it a little more. Jumping to use the archway to peek and not be revealed long enough, or rather, to sit at the apex of his jump long enough to be caught out. As tag boosted up silently, a liege gets hammered by him. And it's OC that needs to do the damage again as Nitro's removed already from Donut. Very clean take so far from an IP. OC, damage there, but no kills still. As Naf has to come in and pick up the pieces, Rez gets the shot through the box with the Deagle, and Hampus is going to be a problem. He's already locking them both. I shouldn't say both, because shots behind him, but locking certainly Naf in place. Did they consider it? I don't think so. Is it I don't think that. I think he just looks for one more kill maybe and gets out. I think if Shox didn't take all that damage, they were definitely going to go for it. I think Naf still wants to investigate, see if he's given a freebie. But with that flashbang and not finding anything, I think you're right. Now is the time to just back away from Ruins. Good entries, good kills from Esatag. Double kill for him. Both the initial kills. I would love to get that off, but Fuzi protecting the fallback. He's going to find one, and he'll live as the bomb explodes. Oh, no, he won't. Actually, all three players from NIP go down. That's actually insane. Ah, dang. Considering that they hadn't won a round in, what, four or five? What is this, the most powerful bomb we got in all, all seven maps of Counter-Strike? <laughs> Two. I'm allowed to be here. And then he banned me from the Discord. <laughs> he didn't actually. <laughs> oh, we're going to see the heroic triple boost. We saw this yesterday, and we thought it was one of the first times that we had seen it. NIP immediately going to go for it as well. Seemingly, it's harder to do than we thought because there must be some sort of skybox glitch just to the left of it because you can't seem to just push right into the corner. We saw heroic fail a few jumps at it as well, but it's still not an AWP this time, but very powerful for the M4 of shocks. The cheeky way to get. I said NIP, excuse me, Liquid. Liquid was the one that died to it, by the way, so clearly they've yep. learned it. Cheeky way to get one kill when you need one. Obviously, no one from NIP challenging these doors at all whatsoever. So timing on that, and Shox rotates away. NIP holding for pushes. Holding for the cheesy or the gimmicky play that Liquid might be setting up. Although it's pretty standard so far from Liquid. 44 seconds. And guess what? They're headed right at the rifle. Yeah, they absolutely are. Jox is going to have to be pretty spot on, but his spot is on. He thought he could get away with trigger discipline. He didn't even think to look back to the right. He thought they were just going to charge right by him. And in some ways, not shooting cost him more than it was worth, as Hampus already deep inside CT territory as NAF in rotation. We'll forgive Shox for that one, though. I think the only way you're really winning that round, considering the position of his teammates when that attack comes in towards Donut, is if he gets, like, two, at least, probably three. So going for the round-winning play, shut down before it could even begin. That's a fast flick over. OC falls. And IP get their lead right back. It's going to be 13 to 12. Nitro hoping for an exit kill. Just one for an AK-47. Same with the Liege outside of the 8-bomb set, but no one's close to him. It's Nitro who might have an opportunity. CZ. Zed's dead, baby. Terrible movie. Elige is desperate to try and find a gun or anything laying on the ground still, but nothing will be there. NIP back into the lead late, 13-12. to 12. But there is guns again for the North American... 
I was going to say Power Squad. I don't think they've earned that title yet. Well, I think when uh, you're really the only one we've got, we'll give it, to, we'll him. Give it to him. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we'll yeah. round up. We'll give him the designation of Power Squad. Yeah. <laughs> Not Power House yet, just Power Squad. Okay. Power Apartment. Good shot from OC. Been a little bit slower this game to get going, OC. He's on 10 kills. A lot of situations where he was just barely off the shot or did damage but couldn't get the kill. Naf's going to get res. That's a bit of a bold play to just run to the site like that. I, I think he, I think res got pulled into that oddly by Plopsky. Plopsky was actually up in front, and I think they were, I think res was thinking we're going through this. Plopsky was thinking, screw this. And, and if Plopsky had gone up first instead of falling back, they might have had the timing on him, but not a criticism of Plopsky so much, but just a miscommunication error. He's back into the window. Aztag was holding for the donut peak. It's a tough position for Aztag to be in, because I'm not sure if you noted it, Jason. The X-ray just above him. Shocks in cave. Not peeking necessarily down the lane, but the only way really to go is forward for Aztag. He'll try and do that now. Nitro's going to be the one that combats him again toward the donut as Aztag clears both sides. And Elise just fully left the window. OC is going to have to be very careful. He's going to deploy a little bit of utility, a smoke toward the top side of the B ramp. That's where Bomb remains for Plopsky. They've got another kill in this round. S tag could still be a force and a factor here. With the Legion Nitro removed, if he's able to sneak in all the way over to the B site and get a clean. Oh, he's not going to do it. He's going to try and cut off rotation. Instead, he'll get a leash. That's going to give away the game because now OC can turn around and stare that direction. Plopsky trying to get inside of the site. OC's got the kill. If S tag goes and kills, I think, OC clean with the AWP, they at least get a plant out of this situation. Potentially, I mean, there's oh, wait, still battles to be had. If he can take OC out, time's gonna end. Oh, OC pushes forward. That's great. Oh, wait. If he can get one. Oh, this would be massive. He's got it right at the end. That's huge for an IP. What a find from Plopsky saving the weapon. The take. 13 13. Nitro and OC smokes down at the bottom side of the A halls. They're gonna get a little bit aggressive here. S tag's waiting on the stairs trained his aim in that direction. They are going to actually split this site. If they're anticipating aggression at the eight tunnels, then this donut take is a wise call, and Hampus knows going to be rotating back in from that side. Clean, crisp, concise. The Opolis OC is dropped to the deck as Elise has to try and work back in through ruins. Flash in his face. He will not go any further. Nitro, though, desperate, desperate to still find something at long, and oh this is just... Is Liquid running out of rounds? Is this what's going to happen here? Because they're out of money again. They've got to back out of this situation. 14-13 for NIP. Oh, NIP, these, these, some of these, like, just walking contact plays. That time they found the perfect gap in the defense to do it. Just walking through Donut. OC rotating back. No real eyes on middle throughout that round. No eyes in Donut throughout that round. And that was just the blind perfect call to have. Shocks. Pushing down. These weapons are critical for Team Liquid. Look at the money. Elise on 300, Nitro on 200. Naf was at 150. One more gun taken away. Shocks goes down. Oh no, right at the end of the runway. They're able to walk the whole way to this A bomb site before being spotted in its immediate kill as OC and Nitro decided to get aggressive in towards A main. Even S attack charging like an angry elephant on the remaining two. They don't want to give NIP 15 for free. But it all rides on this. Starting it off well. If it rides on this, that's exactly the opener that you want to get, considering the weapons. Ampis, though, up toward window. OC's going to find him doubling the position. Naf's able to trade Plopsky, who never suspected too late in middle. But this does leave a gap at B, and it's exactly that that Rez wants to exploit, getting inside of the site. Fuzi trying to rotate that bomb over uh -oh. in that direction as well. Chalks can cut them off. Yeah, if he gets this bomb, uh, round's over. Fuzi has to be careful. He's had a great game so far. And Shocks just listens. He just listens and waits. And now he knows they are trapped inside the bomb site. He's constricting upon this position. Fuzi is checking the angle. What a stunning headshot.
That might save them this round. You've got two other players coming this direction. Naf's one of them. He's just able to get the headshot back through the box. In the intern, we lost Rez. He's down to 18 HP. He got shot back in the back lines, which means they know he's going to peak the ramp, but that's not good enough. His aim fails, oh. and he turns. He finds a leash, and it might be map for NIP as Liquid. How do they come back from that? I can't believe he's won that clutch. I cannot believe he had all three of those shots. He had to be perfect. He had to be mechanically perfect. And he does just that. A little bit of a struggle against Naf, but after that, no problems. It's even like a heat check. He's even considering falling back into cover and playing the bomb, and he decides, nah, I'm gonna stand tall, I'm feeling it. That's an outrageous clutch. That just breaks you completely if you're Team Liquid. He went down to 13 HP, he was tagged, the leash had the information, and they could not find the shots. The AK just so strong. That's the res we know and love. Yeah, but I, you even have to think of it this way. Oh, good find from Elyse, another opening kill. Elyse gets the opening in the previous round. The good trade in middle. That was a solid round for Team Liquid with what they brought into it. This one's gonna be a bit more of a struggle, although at least Elyse has given them some breathing room once again. Five on four in round 29. NIP with just two chances to close out the opening map, to steal away Liquid's map pick in these quarterfinals. Taking no chances, they've already thrown that AK out of position off the map, or rather, in an unreachable position on it. As it is round 15, this is a look back at Liege through the smoke. OC, scout only to work with. He has to be absolutely perfect with it, and the smoke already down to delay. He fires twice into it. They now know where that's positioned. Nade to the back lines. As he was there, might as well get some damage early. Shocks, 5-7 can be absolutely menacing. That smoke's gonna dissipate. He smartly gets away as it does. Reading the signs, OC's got the opener. Shocks doesn't want to go yet, but as the flash comes out, he does. He'll drop the bomb temporarily. The AK's still coming around the corner, and Shocks, he'll double up on that. It's a one on three. But they lost a one on three in the last round to an AK. This time it's Fuzi, not Rez. And he's already got the bomb down. Taking damage through the smoke, though he's tagged on a 53. It's still a workable situation. Inspired by Rez, but perhaps not able to get it done. It's now going to be at least another round. Good save from Lake Point. Yeah, and uh, very brilliant in the sense that uh, obviously Liquid, they get the scavenge with three players surviving. That's huge because their money is still not going to be pretty out of this victory. So the fact they can get two AK-47s, the fact they can get that AWP picked up on OC's hands, that's brilliant stuff. Liquid still alive, still going to try and force overtime. NIP gets shut down coming up the ramp. OC with the scout shocks with that 5-7. Fine work from the Frenchman. Round 30. Now, one thing that's kind of hurt Liquid in the later stages of this half, some of these contact plays that NIP have called, these quiet walks into different parts of the map, have caught them off guard at various points. What does NIP call here? Hampus, fast out middle. He's burning down to 31 HP. Easy cleanup for Elysia, though he takes a bit of damage. That is three opening kills for Elysia in the last three rounds. Huge impact in high-pressure situations. Lines up the spray to the back line. That X-ray makes you hold your breath if you're a Liquid fan as Shox is on the other side of it. Nothing actually connected with him despite how close the crosshair did appear. Four kits. Liquid's happy to play retake on this B-bomb site. If this is going to be where the end game is for NIP, they're willing to let him have it. They're willing to just play passive along the back wall. You can see Shox rotating between mid. Naf in the back corner. No Molotovs or HG nades to do any kind of damage on the entrance for Team Liquid's defense. Here come the set smokes. Here come the flashbangs. Rez and Plops keep probing initially. S-Tag gonna follow it up. Fuzi watching the flank. Still a tough job to do as that bomb gets planted now. Default position behind the pillar. Naturally, you could look toward a boost in the corner, but that's become so evident and obvious over the course of this map. Here's the big flank. No more nades for NIP. Nitro that wants to be the one to arrive. Rez is watching toward Cave, but not the ramp. Fuzi hasn't turned it around yet, and there's so much action towards CT, they may have lost track of Nitro. They may not be aware of the numbers. Plopski's gonna get a liege down. Nitro needs to go now. He'll get Fuzi, but that gives up his position, and OC's got a problem. They never checked Cave. It's all on Nitro to keep Liquid in this, to force out overtime a one-on-three. He's through the smoke. He'll tap the bomb. They know